timeline is July 29th, her phone was still receiving data, and that makes sense based on her mother's interview. July 30th is when her phone stopped receiving data and all calls started going to voicemail. Monta's phone last pinged in Loudoun County. Loudoun County is a neighboring county. Um, they didn't say where in the county, but depending on where, it would be anywhere from half an hour to an hour away from her home. Interestingly, Naresh put himself at a cafe uh, on July 30th near where Monta's phone last pinged. So he put himself in the area of the last ping. So on July 30th, he went to a Walmart located in Chantilly, Virginia. Chantilly, Virginia, uh, that Walmart that they're talking about is probably 20 minutes from his home. Um, and there he bought a three pack of knives. Two of those knives cannot be accounted. The next day, July 31st, he went to another Walmart, this one located in Loudoun County. He didn't say specifically where, if I had to guess, I'd say Sterling. Um, but there he bought cleaning supplies. They do have CCTV evidence of uh, these two Walmart stops. We're going to jump ahead to them doing the search warrant at his home. Now this is where we found a lot of evidence. So remember when people were saying that they saw police take out pieces of carpet from the home? Well now we know why. According to the Commonwealth's attorney today, they found what appears to be pooling of blood and blood spatter throughout the home. They were able to find this using Blue Star technology is how she referred to it. Basically that's luminol. And so luminol is a chemical that you can spray and it will react to blood. However, it can also react to different substances such as bleach in the same way. So there is a possibility that this isn't blood and this does, you know, get brought up later. When investigators entered the master bedroom, they saw that the bed had been moved to a location where it was blocking the master closet. So investigators obviously thought that was weird. When they moved the bed, they saw that there was a stain on the carpet underneath the bed. It was a light pink stain. The investigators believed it to have been a blood stained, a blood stain that was cleaned up. They used the Blue Star Tech and they do believe that it is blood. Then again, using the tech, they saw that this, what appears to be blood, goes into the bathroom and that there were drag marks from the bedroom into the bathroom. They used the tech in the shower and it lit up. It lit up like a Christmas tree, indicating that there had been a substantial amount of blood in the shower. So because they found what appears to be a substantial amount of blood in the shower, they physically removed the bathtub. And once they removed the bathtub, they found what to the naked eye, so we're not talking about luminol testing or anything like that now, what appeared to the naked eye to be dried blood in the caulk of the bathtub. So that obviously they took samples and they, they sent that to the lab as well. Um, then they found the cleaning supplies that they saw him buy at the Walmart. Now, the next part that they talked about was whether or not Naresh is a flight risk. Um, the prosecution contends that he is because they said that when they got to the home to execute the search warrant, that the home was in disarray. They found a bag packed. They found his passport and his daughter's passport as well. Um, Naresh, another big thing, I've been talking since the very beginning about how uh, police need to get the data from his Tesla, the camera data, the location data, all of that data from the Tesla. Well, he sold his Tesla. He sold his Tesla on August 19th and he sold it to CarMax. So we don't know if police were able to get any of that data prior to the sale or if they weren't, if they're able to get any data now that it has been sold. I don't know the current location of that car. Um, now, speaking of selling things, he had also contacted two different people about potentially selling his home in Manassas Park. Okay, so that is basically what we've got from the prosecution. Um, after the prosecution kind of laid out the evidence that they had, then it was the defense's turn. Um, and the defense said that his lawyer said basically, look, I know this looks bad, but looking bad is not evidence of murder. No. 
yeah, he sold his car. Maybe he doesn't like Elon Musk anymore. Literally, that is what his lawyer said in court. That was like the first thing he said. Um, so he's like, yeah, he sold his car. Who cares? Um, you know, he also brought up the point that we don't know officially from a scientific perspective if what police found in the home was in fact blood. They just found substances that appeared to be blood. It needs to be tested and testing takes time. So as of this moment on August 23rd, we don't know if they found any blood in the home. All right, his lawyer also said that, you know, if he wanted to leave, he had plenty of time to do it. Which is a fair point. Because he didn't leave already, he's not a flight risk. Um, he also said, listen, like, I think he should be released on this charge. You don't have a body. We don't even know if she's dead. So his lawyer's arguing that he shouldn't be held on the charge of concealing a dead body because we don't know if there is a dead body. Um, and then he said, hey, you can release them and do GPS monitoring. <laughs> I've got a lot to say about GPS monitoring. Uh, please see our episode on AJ Silva for more, um, but that's a whole other issue. So that's basically what we got from the arraignment today. As of uh, that hearing, his next hearing, the preliminary was scheduled for October 24th, but I would imagine there's probably going to be a bond hearing prior to that. But um, I'll let you know as soon as I find everything, anything else. Like I said, I've been in the courtroom, I've been doing the live, so I don't know about any outside information that's happened this morning. If you have information, my DMs are open. Also, if you have anything you'd like to send me in terms of like links, files, things like that, my email is in my bio. And um, as always, I'll keep you updated.